Hi, this is Johnny Mnemonic again. Here we are again in another tutorial and uh, check this out. Bang! We're gonna be creating ball and chain constraint and uh, some bricks using Mass MassFX uh, version 13. Now I tried to do this using uh, tutorials on uh, earlier versions of Mass MassFX but none of them worked. So, because there's there are some glitches and catches, so yeah, I hooked up with McGrave from Vision Lore and he created this uh, this sheet where where he explains how you have to uh, how you have to basically rig uh, your objects uh, using convex hulls. Now we we're not gonna be doing that. It's a little too complicated, but uh, yeah, we're gonna create a constraint system that hopefully works. So I'm gonna running be running some troubleshooting as well and problems you may encounter. First, create a torus. You can create whatever shape you like. You can even you can even squash it with a scale tool like this, but uh, I don't recommend that too much. So. I'm just gonna be using, yeah, just a simple circle. Okay, so this first uh, torus is gonna be uh, our dynamic or our static rigid body. So set it as static rigid body. Go here into mesh properties and uh, tick original. And that should suffice. Now duplicate this torus by shift dragging, rotate it, and then set this one as a dynamic rigid body. And first we have to generate the uh, hull for this. So use concave mesh and uh, click here generate and it will create as you can see uh, yeah, simple hull which will basically constrain this torus so it doesn't break and do anything. Okay, and we're there. So next thing you want to do is set the mass of this into some something like steel, because um, if you set this uh, density too low. Uh, eventually when you add more links and stuff like that and uh, ball on the end it can break so you, you have to think about that now duplicate rotate you now to activate mass effects toolbar right click this bar and yeah like this so select these two shift drag and maybe do even more shift track now all of these should be the same and these are dynamic rigid bodies so we can test it yeah and uh, you can either mm, shift it upwards or just disable ground collisions here now in the parameters of the simulation you should uh, you should use, uh, you should use, sorry, uh, eight sub steps and four solver iterations and use multi threading and hardware acceleration. Yeah, and there you go, you've got your constraint system. Okay, so next next thing we want to go and create a sphere and we want to align it like this so it's embedded in the, one of the links yeah i keep the chain shorter in this case set this as a dynamic rigid body a sphere and you have to generate the hull again 
so concave mesh then generate and then you have to constrain it so create universal constraint make it like this that doesn't matter much but hey then parent it to the last chain link and uh, test what's happening yeah and we got you just created a nice ball and chain constraint system and uh, yeah and now you can let your imagination go wild and just think about the possibilities you can create some complex machines that uh, are activated by this initial blast I was playing with it yesterday and I created dominoes and stuff like that and you play with the materials density yeah, and vroom. yeah it's little little heavy on the processing so now breaks it's the absolutely same principle you just uh, just create it uh, just quickly uh, kind of break and again set it as a dynamic rigid body generate the hull shape type you can use concave or box whatever whatever that works use it it's it's not uh, rocket science in this case okay duplicate it duplicate it again and again okay bricks are aligned like this more so yeah I'm not gonna be precise or anything like that so, yeah, because after I start this simulation bricks actually first fall down a little so that's maybe a little funny but of course you can play with this as much as you like okay I duplicate this wall again and again and let's see what will happen now and it goes boom okay so that's uh, that's basically it it's uh, very simple now next thing you want to play with you can play with a mass and of course if your links break which I can demonstrate if I set the density to something less it probably will break under the weight of um, the ball yeah so if that happens check your links and just make them dense okay you can use preset or whatever and now bang yeah, and it works so this is how you create a simple constraint system in 3d max using mass effects 13 so this has been johnny mnemonic check our other stuff we got tutorials free models and uh, plenty of entertaining videos bye